Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I thought I would film a video on like beginner fountain pens. I get a lot of questions about that and I just wanna say I am no expert. I started my fountain pen journey about a year and a half ago and that is from my friend. We went local to Jungles um, in Texas, Houston, Texas. And I got a Twisby Eco, this one. And the cap was not a uh, rose gold. A person on my Instagram gave me a fine nib Twisby Eco in the rose gold. But <clears throat> I thought my pen had broke because this is my main pen that I use. As you can see, it'll always kind of like bleed through there. And long story short, I had to take the cap from that one. I have no idea where I did with it. <laughs> So I've got Twisby Ecos, and obviously there's different nibs. I have the stub nib, which is like, um, I think the boldest. I Again, I am not in any way an expert. I just want to share what I feel has worked for me. And what I have in my lineup is a Lamy. These two are cartridges. So Lamy uh, Joy and I got it off Amazon and they came with four of these cartridges. And all you kind of do is just kind of fill them or just take this out and just pop another one in and that's it. So this is in a 1.0, which is kind of to mimic my stub nib because that's the one I like. This was given to me at a, a Coeco Sport and she had given me like a whole lot of cartridges which um, I might turn into like a blue. But these here, the Twisby Ecos, you've got to fill them with ink. Um, my little ink that I have is the Noodlers Green. This is Nightingale. I don't know which one is the Port. Oh, L. Lawrence. Uh, Noodlers Gray, Lexington, Lexington Gray. This one doesn't write for me very bold. I like bold. This is my favorite one. I took off the thing. It is um, the Blue Black Noodlers Ink. That's the one I always write with. I got this one just recently, um, Mandalay Maroon. And then the rest are these little, um, I'm not saying it right, Dynamine or whatever purple, writer's blood, indigo. So I like black. <laughs> and it's funny, I don't have black in the noodle zinc, but I will either stay with like purples, maroons, uh, blues, because they most resemble the black in my mind. So what I have here is Tomo River paper and Stology paper. So my Twisbees, I feel, write the best on Stology paper. Where's my book? They, I use my pens for a few sections in my notebook. My devotion notes, my soap study, and my prayers. Um, I used to write a scripture writing a lot, and I'm going to probably incorporate that in my commonplace in the back. But I wanted to show you on, I don't have a fine nib, so I don't like fine nibs. In my mind, they are scratchy. Um, this is some of what I've used. I think this is the Coeco, but let's use this. I will go ahead and test. Let me see if I can. I don't know. Excuse my nails. I use this cuticle oil. And it's mango magic. I don't know. Because my nails are jacked. So I want to talk about the Coeco Sport. I feel like I, sh if I need to buy a medium nib. This is a fine nib. And I believe you'll be able to tell there's an F. You can't see it, but there's an F there. So on Tomo River paper, I feel like, and they skip a lot, and I don't like that. Maybe just the one I have. See how it's just, so, so 
if I was just gonna write, it writes like that. And I, I that drives me but nuts. So maybe you just have to wait. And um, with the cartridges, cartridge ones, you do have to wait. So this is not, this is not being fun. While we're um, waiting, let's take the cartridge out. Maybe that's the problem. There's hardly any more. Good job, Monique. So let's do the one I was saying. Let's do the blue. I want like a darker blue. This is brown, that's orange, that must be black. Uh, where's that one blue? And I know there's like converters, don't even ask me about those. Honestly, there's other videos for that. <laughs> um, if you fountain pen connoisseurs wanna mention um, what it is and how you use it, you can go ahead and do that, but for me, I'm just trying to show you what I have, what works. So you just kind of put it in there. You'll hear a little snap. Let's wait for this to kind of, I'm gonna kind of do it like this and put it over there so it can kind of, the ink can kind of come down. So in the meantime, let's wait for that. So that wasn't a real, um, what you call it? Here's the other one. But yeah, as you can see, the ink is completely gone on that. And that was like a purplish. The Lamy Joy, it's really nice for like regular writing um, because it's not as bold as my stub nib, but it is like a 1.0, like it's 1.1 nib. Again, I'm not, I just asked my friend, she told me get this one. <laughs> so, you know, it's really nice for just like I said, everyday writing. I use this a lot for like my headers, you know what I mean, on my my doodads. So that's Tomo River paper. Um, let's do Stology. I used to say, I was talking to my friend Megan, I used to say Stology all the time. And she had posted something that said, Ugh. People that say that I was like girl I used to say that all the time she's like but you changed I'm like not really <laughs> people used to get so mad I was like but I like the word I felt like it sounds better okay so let's do today's Sun Saturday Saturday August and the fountain pens I love them all on Stology paper because if you wait just a little bit, it'll be fine. Like, I'm not gonna do that test. Well, if you want me to, there you go. It's not even smearing. Once I do it over here, it's dry over here already. And I've got the fan, but um, it's Smear City on, on Tomo River. Okay, so then the stub nim. Let's use the, the most recent one I got for my birthday. It's just like a clear nib. Again, this one's like a black. But I feel like this is so pretty because you can see the ink completely in it. Oh, so pretty. Um, I get a lot of comments on my handwriting. Again, I'm a lefty. I love cursive. I used to write in cursive my whole life. So <laughs> let me show you how Saturday, August 6th would look on this. It's completely beautiful ink. And so it's really bold and I like that but I can't write every day with something like that my everyday writing is in uniball jet stream but if I wanted to come over here to my main planner today and use like if I want something really bold um and I just do like wash dishes right that's just gonna bold out the day okay if i want to use the lamy right dye hair i feel like this one's a little bit better to write with every day if i wanted to but i you'll see on my daily pages i mix it up sometimes but again my main ones i use for my faith writing. But if you are on the fence about fountain pens, cause they are an investment. 
I don't want to collect a whole lot of barrels. All I wanted was a main pin and a backup. So I can, because another thing is, I don't know what, I've had this for a year and a half. So something was happening where the ink was like falling down onto the page. And I was like, I broke my pin. Oh my gosh. But all I had to do, who's my napkin? I don't know what I do with my napkin. I had to like, cause you can change out these nibs. I had to like push in my nib. And once I did that, it was, it was completely back to normal. I just, I didn't know. It was trial and error. I had to like figure it out myself. Cause I swear I was like, I have to throw my pen away. In fact, I put it in the trash. That's how crazy I was. So let's see if this one works, this Coveco. Not yet. And that's the only thing I don't like about these. This nib is scratchy on, on these pens. I mean, on this paper, Tomo River paper. It's a lot more bolder. Sorry, I'm just... It's a lot more bolder. I'm just gonna write bolder on the solid sheet paper. But in my opinion, if you want something inexpensive, go for a Lamy or, or a thicker nib on Coveco. Like for sure a medium. Um, I do also have, where is it? This one, I'm not sure if there's anything in it. My friend gave it to me. It's a calligraphy pen, which I need some more in here. Um, but it's so beautiful in how it writes. Um, it's a very thick. See that? Super thick. And oh, I thought I inked one up. Maybe not. Let's try to put some ink in it. Hold on. Hold on. But I like using it for, um, um, I think she gave me the cartridges. Yeah, they're right here. She just gave me a few in black. It's called Schaefer, I want to say. And then she gave me all these inks right here. I haven't even tried. I have not even tried. Super scared. One of my good friends gave me all that. Because I know you, I don't know how you would like put the ink in. I think it's with a converter. And I told you, I am not in any way, shape, or form. I am truly beginner. So that's why I kind of wanted to do this video. Because I am truly beginner. And this is what jacks me up. I think it's the smaller one that goes in here. Yeah. Okay. Let's take this one out. Right? And you just kind of... Now this one, I love to write with, with headers. And it's not gonna be right away. Oh, it is right away. Oh, look at this. And see how that just smeared? Um, but you have got to press down and write with it pretty like consistently. And it is a thick piece of Mama Gemma and it skips a lot because I'm not holding it correctly. I can't even, so Saturday, I don't know, I'm gonna do my name, but this is another one. There's tons, like generic ones, like you can get at like Michael's, whatever, but it is super bold. And again, it's Schaefer. Um, that's the back of it all. Let's see if this one, let's try to write with the Coveco on Histology paper. And for you fountain pen connoisseurs, I don't want you to be like, come for me. <sighs> because it's just not cute. Okay, so let's do Saturday. It's still not wanting to write. And I've got ink over here. See, this just gets on my nerves. See? It's just not cute. Let's try to find, sometimes if you're on your, you're using it on like your Hobonichi Weeks. I don't know. 
know. This is an old one. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> <coughs> Wonderful. So, like, let's just say you did right here this week. I don't know about you, but that would royally piss me off. I'm like, why aren't you consistent? So this little guy is gonna just go chill in his little house with all his friends. And I'm more than likely in, in the near future will probably buy a, a Kaweco medium point. But again, all I have is the Lamy Joy 1.1. I got that on Amazon. Let's try the purple. Then I have the Twisby Eco. That's my recommendation for you. You can get them in fine, medium, extra fine, stub. And this is stub nib. And I don't know, between the stub nib and the Lamy Joy, these three, it's my favorite. That's my favorite, and I occasionally will write with this one. But, and then I kind of house these in this little thing right here that was gifted to me. One of my favorite brush pins, and then like the Uniball 1.0 in blue. And I just kind of put it in my Devonix pouch. This one, <clears throat> these little cartridges, and this Kaweco thing, maybe I'll just kind of throw in here. I mean, it's kind of, I'll just throw it in this little thing. And I, whenever I want to re-ink my uh, Twisbees, they come in this thing. It's because I just barely bought that one. If you want to know, they give you kind of instructions. I, I, I don't know what the silicone grease does and all this stuff. Like, I just like the case for when I travel. Oh, price points. This one locally was $35, the one I got, the clear one. Um, it was $35 at Jungles. Um, the Lamy Joy was, I think, 21. And I don't know what the other ones were because those were gifted to me. So I hope this helps in some, in, in some, to some degree. Um, just basically for the ones that have been asking about it and what I basically use, that's, that's all I use. Again, I'm no expert, but I like it most with the Sology paper. And um, let's go back up. I like it most with the Sology paper. I will put these books away. This, again, is my main book. And I love my fountain pens for here, or sometimes I'll go in the back. And I'll start doing my scripture writing, which is I want to start again. So today's only, what, the six. So I can kind of start back here. And um, and I love the Lamy because it has these grippers. And you grip it and it's really nice. And it kind of tells you where you're aligning your pin. So, um, and these so far don't have any inconsistencies um, like the Coeco. And I love that. And like I said, they come with a whole slew of these. I'm gonna just keep one pack in my main thing and then put the other ones in that box, but they come with these large cartridges. Oops. And I really love that because I feel like you get uh, more bang for your buck. I had always seen people use like a Lamy and I was like, oh man, it looks bulky. <laughs> but I like the Joy. I don't have no other one to measure it against, but I like the Joy. So anyhow, my friends, thanks for watching. God bless you.